Hey, welcome back. Myrna's here from Silver West Cooking School. So excited to have you here because so many moms are going, what am I going to make the kids for dinner tonight, right? That's quick, easy, and affordable. Right. And so I'm going to show all the moms out there something that is quick, easy, and affordable. So Thank goodness. we're going to jump right into it. We are making Greek meatballs. They're called keftedes. Okay. One more time. Keftedes. Okay. Okay. So it's a family recipe. We have um, some ground beef here, about half a pound. Uh -huh. We're going to put some fresh mint. That's kind of what makes it really different sure. than the traditional meatball. We have some dry oregano, a little bit of kosher salt, some freshly ground black pepper. We have some panko breadcrumbs. If you don't have panko, this is a Japanese breadcrumb. You can definitely use whatever breadcrumb you have laying around. Uh -huh. And then we just have one large egg to kind of bind it all. Oh, see. <laughs> and kids actually love doing this part too. That's a great idea. This is, yeah, you squish it all together, you just give it a nice mix, and then look, from here, and my tip to moms, okay, is to make them nice and small, okay, so they're bite-sized, mm -hmm. so you don't waste a lot, and they're great for freezing. And little hands make little meatballs, right. so this is a great thing. <laughs> so we'll pop that in there, I'll just make a couple more. You can see it's, you know, they come together yeah. right away, super quick, Super easy. And right in there. And as you see, I already started making some. So I'm going to show um, all the viewers and moms what you can do. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's show with the first thing. Sure. The first thing we have is a traditional pasta. This is penne. Um, you can make your own sauce or you can get a sauce if you're a busy mom. Mm -hmm. We put some fresh tomatoes, some fresh parsley, and then there, the traditional way you would serve a meatball with pasta. Divine. Gorgeous. Now, since it is a Greek meatball, it also lends itself to being put in a gyro. Of course. So instead of that mystery meat that sliced, who knows what it is. That or the... Uh, I mean, it's good, but... Or the falafel or whatever. Exactly, you know? exactly. So you can put these meat... Look how gorgeous that is. We mm -hmm. have some fresh cucumber, some fresh tomato. Um, right there, we have some tzatziki sauce, which is... Yeah, that's uh, going to help. Yeah, the Greek yogurt. Keeps it fresh. Yeah. yeah, with some cucumber, and you just get a pita. And look how easy is that. So these are two different ways that you can you know work with that Greek meatball and like I said make enough and mm -hmm. you can freeze it and then so for the next week or the week after all you got to do is defrost and cook so smart so very easy uh, this is a half pound of beef you said yeah so that's gonna make maybe a dozen 18 little meatballs I would say 18 meatballs yeah. so if you went and got a pound which most people don't mm -hmm. buy half a pound right. of beef, um, you, if you got a pound you could you could easily make 24 meatballs, maybe 30 meatballs. And you yeah. could use pork, you could use any meat you want, really. Ground turkey, too. Mm, it's a yeah. good way to introduce your kids to turkey mm -hmm. and make it a little bit healthier. And then also, you know, dress it up. I like, I think people always eat with their eyes, so it's got to be visually appealing to mm -hmm. kids, so it's a great way to insert fresh vegetables, too. What a nice diet. idea. I know if, I mean, presentation's everything for you and me. I know <laughs> my, it'll be gone with in my house by this point, right? <laughs> if I set them down in, in front of the kids, it'd be it's, like, great, right. it'll be gone, you know? Scarf it down. Exactly. And, it's, and as you see, everybody is short on time. We're all super busy, sure. so these are really quick and easy things that we and fresh, quick, easy, and fresh. And tell me about these breadcrumbs again. These panko. Bread yeah, they're crumbs? panko breadcrumbs. You can feel them. Yeah. They're really um, a little bit coarser than regular breadcrumbs. They're really dry. And too. they're Japanese. If you ever have a shrimp tempura um, at a Japanese or sushi restaurant mm -hmm. and it's really nice and crisp, that's what they're using. Uh, and that just adds nice texture to the Yeah, to really the nice texture. Yeah. And how long do these take to cook? Oh, not too long. We, I mean, I would say probably two minutes sure. on each side. Get so. all the pink out of there and you're in business. Right. And that's it. And so I got to tell you before I leave. Yeah. Um, September um, September 8th, we have an appetizer class. Okay. So, believe, can you believe holidays are already coming up, Robert? No. People That's are already asking for soon. appetizer recipes. So, we have appetizers and we still have space. So, it's on a Saturday. Yep. So, come on down. And this Friday, we have Paul Key, winner of Top Chef. Yes. We only have one seat left. It's a sous chef. Uh, it's gone seat. now, probably. No, it's gone. <laughs> only one ticket left and you actually get to cook with Paul Key. You're going to help We him had him here. on the show once. He's a great guy. He's fantastic. Well, guess what? He's going to be on again good, good. promoting if that ticket doesn't right. sell. All right. got to wrap it up. Okay, Myrna let's Silver do it. West Cooking School. Outstanding. Thanks, Robert. So fun. This smells great in here, by the way. Good ideas for Myrna as per usual. We'll be right back.